My name is Penille and my solution is Cycling Without Age. We offer free rides in a rickshaw to elderly people to let them feel the wind in their hair. It started about five years ago in Denmark, in Copenhagen, Denmark, where uh, a person called Ole, he saw an elderly man sitting outside of a nursing home and Ole was on his bike and he thought that maybe this older person would like a bike ride. So he rented a rickshaw and uh, he went back to the nursing home and uh, not only that person, but all of the other residents wanted a ride in a rickshaw to see the life of Copenhagen and to experience something. That's when it started. Mm -hmm. Cycling without age um, is uh, volunteers, nursing home staff or members of families uh, who pedal a rickshaw and they have uh, an elderly person or two sitting in front. There is a seat in front which seats two people and uh, the rickshaw is uh, it has electricity so that it's uh, it's easy even uh, in countries where there is a, or a slopes or a mountains you know anyone can join even you know school students uh, to meet the older generation and to share stories both the pilot that we call the person cycling and uh, the elderly person learn from each other and uh, and interact and and make new friendships a lot of communities have been built stronger for instance, when uh, businesses, they participate by maybe helping to raise funds for a rickshaw or uh, we're also working with uh, local coffee shops or theatres that might want to give a free cup of coffee or a trip to, to the theatre or the cinema for the passengers and the pilot if they come by in the rickshaw. And that way we try to make the whole community interact more with the elderly people. The current impact is that Cycling Without Age is in 23 countries around the world. One in three nursing homes in Denmark have a rickshaw like this and thousands of people have benefited from the rides. Uh, thousands of passengers, but people who benefit from the rides are also the pilots who feel as much joy uh, on these trips as the passengers do. A lot of the feedback that we have from the passengers is really wonderful and it's one of the things that really keeps us going. Uh, one of the passengers uh, said that it was much better than medicine to go out like this. And, um, and, and we also have heard from nursing home staff that when people come back from the rides, their mood is lifted and they feel much better. And sometimes it's, and often it actually means that they need less medication to either sleep well or to eat more or, um, or also, you know, mood stabilizers and, and stuff like that. It, it's not as necessary uh, when they have been on these rides. Um, we also had uh, a blind person uh, as a passenger who, who gave us the inspiration for uh, saying the right, cycling without age, the right to wind in your hair, when she said that I might not be able to see anymore, but I can still feel the wind in my hair, I can hear the birds singing and I can smell the flowers. We really want this idea to grow and uh, anyone who is, can see the potential for this kind of solution in the local community is welcome to start their own chapter of cycling without age.